This is a couple of teeth that have had toothbrush abrasion with high abrasive toothpaste. You can see the canine on the far right with two areas. One was done 20 years ago and covered, and then the second area is more recent. You can see the filling that's been there for 20 years. Uh, there is no decay underneath it. And it was done subsequently right to the gum line, which you will see when I do these other two fillings. It was done exactly the same way. And the only thing that you can see about the filling is the brown stain over on the right on the canine. As we zero in on that a little bit, you can see that brown stain. And that's just where it is. It's no leakage. Everything else is fine. You can also see the areas that have had the toothbrush abrasion, which is very common when someone is a very vigorous brusher, and particularly when they put a fair amount of toothpaste and brush back and forth scrubbing the teeth. This patient's had this habit for years, and that's how the first one occurred. And we're taking off the filling so that we can have one filling completely. So I really don't know how deep the original abrasion was, but you'll be able to see uh, the, that it's exactly the same depth as the other one. And it was a good restoration. It's lasted 20 years. It's just a matter of the patient had continued to remove more tooth structure. And the idea is if we wouldn't have done it originally, there would have been even a deeper groove in the teeth and it's possible to actually kill a nerve uh, or a tooth this way and uh, by removing too much tooth structure. Occasionally I have seen so much uh, removal that it's very difficult to restore the tooth. So putting in a tooth colored filling is really a good call. Many people use a lot of different types of material. I like to use composite because it's polish as well. And the technique that I'm showing with the uh, uh, air abrasion or the micro etcher is, I find, very helpful. I've got two pieces of, uh, actually one piece of cord right now underneath the gum tissue. You can kind of see the uh, area there. A little bit later, I'll put in a second piece because there's just a little bit of bleeding and I want to make sure that there's absolutely no curricular fluid or blood causing a problem. Here's a picture of the teeth and you can see that where the grain area was where the old filling is. The groove on the right in purple is where the new area was. And we have placed the cord sufficiently deep to give space for the filling to go into. So you'll see me getting everything prepared for that. There's the premolar behind it, and that's significantly deeper. And these are more problematic teeth for smaller teeth because it's closer to where the blood vessel and nerve is. And as opposed to the canine, there's a little bit more tooth structure there. So we clean it up and get it ready to put on the adhesive. And when we do that, we'll use a light that allows the material. Uh, this is clear fill SE bond. And it will allow us to bond the tooth. And that was the primer. And we look at it and we see, that, oh, there's a little bit of, uh, of bleeding there. So that's not right. We go back, place some more cord and reapply everything because it's like Gelmer's glue or any sort of glue if you get it wet it just really doesn't do the right thing so here's the second piece of cord we put it in there and now there's no bleeding the gum tissue is back and we're able to go in and put in a nice filling and place the bonding liquid there and later on that cord will be helpful in keeping the gum tissue back while we polish the material nice and smooth. Here is the composite material. 
And there's a lot of different materials that can be used for, with this. There's cool polymers, there's uh, modified uh, glass ionomers. Uh, I personally have been very successful with the composite and sticking to a good technique and keeping everything nice and smooth. I've had really good success with it. On the other hand, if the area gets wet, it will uh, leak and you'll get decay up underneath there. And then you actually have a pretty significant problem. This is just sculpting the composite material there. We'll light like, cure it in a minute and come back and recontour it and polish it. The smoother filling is, the less plaque that will be there, but also restoring this area when the person, and in this case you can see that they didn't change their habit, uh, it helps to protect the tooth and gives many more years of surface. We've light cured it. We're going ahead and polishing the outer aspect of it. This is an aluminum oxide rubber wheel. This particular one you can buy from Cosmodent, but there are others out there. And we're using a multi-fluted finishing burr to do a little more contouring right at the gum area to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And you can see the blue cord that's there as well. The nice thing about a microscope is you can see everything in 10 to 12 times magnification so that you don't have problems with sensitivity with the rut. And I use two different types of cups having the highest smoothness that I can. And this takes a little bit longer than some procedures. <clears throat> and to get this type of finish, because the idea is to try and have it last for years and years, it's worth the extra time. I'm removing the cord. It's from the premolar area coming along and seeing that it's nice and smooth. There's a little piece of cord there, so I go back and make sure that that's as nice as possible. And we'll end up possibly polishing that area. Here's the first piece of cord around the canine. Still the first piece there, it's coming out in little pieces because of the polishing. And then we go in for the next piece. And this is a good illustration of having a little sulcus around the teeth. And there's the second piece of cord. It comes out without a hitch or snag. And there's the filling, all nicely polished. We take a look at the other side, and there's a filling that was done about five years ago. And you can see that, yes, indeed, there's a little bit of abrasion going on there. There's some stain as well, but no decay. And we'll no doubt have to come back and do that some other time.